Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. Looks like we are currently working on Fantasy Quester 4. Looks like it's just about done. 93 hype. I'm assuming I've done the pre-release special marketing. I'm not positive though, so we'll we'll double check. I probably have. You know, if you're if you're watching this in the playlist and you just saw the end of the last episode, then you know. But I don't remember because I don't record back to back. I record one video per day. Research team is currently in training. There is no research to do except for AAA and quadruple A. I'm not even making size A games yet, so no rush on those. Um, console team is making the Luchera Vision Pro. So this is a revised version of my original console. This one will be tech level two. So once we get tech level two engine stuff, we'll be able to make games for this. Um, and if you're wondering, well, why not just make a new tech level two console loot? Why revise it? The reason is, is because you maintain your, you know, your market share your user base on this. It just makes a better console. Um, and that's very important for this run since I'm making every single game that I make is exclusively for my own consoles. So having that user base built in, that's huge. Like this console revision makes playing like this so much more viable. I mean, to be fair, I'm on normal difficulty and you, you, know, you can get away with pretty much anything on normal once you have some experience. Uh, and of course, my secondary development team is working on an update for Destiny of the Three Kingdoms 2, which is my newest release, a strategy game. Well, new release, newest release until we put Fancy Quester 4 out here. All right, so we found a new technician. They are efficient, which is what we were searching for. Um, stress averse, I don't care about that. I'm not worried about crunch time. You know, I've already reduced crunch time, so I don't care if people take breaks or crunch. I get sick more often. I don't love that perk, but there are definitely worse negative perks. Did I sweep the game's awards this year? I did. Minus worst game of the year, which, you know, is good. I did win worst game of the year once, but that was intentional because I wanted the there's achievement for it. Right? So that's good. And I would say possibly even more importantly, or more interestingly, at least, best graphics, best soundtrack, and game of the year are three different games. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool when that happens, especially when all three of them are our years. Um, developer of the year, publisher of the year. This is that's a lot of new fans, right? Like 14, 32, um, 48, probably well, 49 at least with rounding. So like 70,000 plus new fans. That's crazy in, in a good way. <laughs> all right. So let's check and see if the special marketing is done. Fancy Quester 4, where are you at? Right here. It is done. Okay. And we even tried to overhype and overhype didn't get through. So we can put them back on the search for technicians. And we can release this game. Because it is bug free. It has been polished. It looks like it's going to be good. 80 to 100% estimated review score. Boom. Next week. I got all kinds of production rooms, right? So we should be able to get this out. There's like three other RPGs on the market that are just mine alone, but it's a trend and they're selling really well. They're my best selling games. 96% review score. So that one should sell well as well, which is swell. Oh, well. All right. So what type of game do I want to make next year? I'm not sure. Did I have a plan? Well, I just did a strategy game. I just did an action game. Probably a platformer. Super Luchera Bros 2. Right? I'd say should be good. Is the engine up to date for that? It is perfect. So we can just jump right into it. SQL. Where's Luchera Bros or Super Luchera Bros? Right here. Didn't get much uh, IP value with the first one. But it takes time. It takes time to build, especially because, you know, it was our first platformer. We're not very good at them. Our first time making a plumber game, as one does. Uh, yeah, it will get there. It'll get there. It usually takes, I find, you don't see a big IP boost or a big IP value until at least your third game in the series. Um, usually the first one will get you, like, up to 0 0.1, maybe 0 0.3. The second one might get you as high as 0.5, but... I don't know if I've ever seen, well, I mean, maybe I've seen and I just forget, but I don't know if I've ever seen a game get over one IP 
before the third game, right? So game concepts. All right, so what did we do for Ninja Stars? This was our second platformer. Copy these settings. Now let's look at the letters. And then we can kind of lock it in. Went right by it. Pin the fan letter. Perfect. All right, they're very satisfied. They like the graphics. They like the sound. They like the control. They want more story. I can give them more story. They want more length. I can give them more length. That's what she said. She wants more length. Um, she also wants more depth. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. I, I've gone far enough. I'm not, <laughs> that's it. And there, all right, so we got to put some down. Now, why are these up here? Did I get something telling me to put those up there prior, previously? So let's look at the letters for Super Lucera Bros. Did those tell us to move those up? Too violent, too easy, too casual, more depth, too short, more story. So why did I move? Hmm. Peculiar. I'm not sure why I did. I'm not sure why I made the decisions I made on that one. Um, but yeah, these are should be better sliders. So this should be a better game than our last two. All the features apply, which is good. And away we go. All right, improve gameplay, high quality, or graphics, improve graphics. Now we'll improve the gameplay. Over here, and high quality sounds. I am gonna need a bigger sound studio soon. That's gonna be like the next room I make, I would say. Still no research, so they can stay in training. The Chair Vision Pro is coming along just fine. I know it says zero hype, but it doesn't matter. You can hype it up. It just, it, it just, it'll have this hype value. Maybe if I hype it more, it'll have, a, it'll take the more, but that's expensive and a waste of my time, right? To do that. All right. So there's another tech. So we still have room for like five more, but I want to, I want to advertise this. I want to hot market this. I feel like this is going to be a decent game. Well, you know what? Let's just do it once. Let's just hype it once. One TV spot, not twice. It is only my third platformer. And as we saw, sliders are definitely not in the right place. All right, so now that Fantasy Quester 4 is out, you know, Fantasy Quester 3 comes off the market, but it sold almost one and a half million copies, made me $20 million, moved 186,000 of my consoles, that is what you call a successful game, folks. <laughs> Fantasy Quester 3 definitely lived up to the hype. Speaking of Fantasy Quester, let's do an update for Fantasy Quester 4. Perfect. So we're working on advertising. So as soon as this is done, we can probably jump right into special marketing. Um, so they're doing the bugs. They're already polishing. Perfect. Special marketing, pre-release. Release a beta demo and a pre release with press. Got a couple bugs we got to work out yet. All right. Only 70 to 90. Well, I'm glad I didn't hype it anymore. <laughs> Let's actually look for, well, no, not sound artists, office workers. And we're going to put them not in here. We're going to put them up here in customer support. All right. So, what are we doing here? So, what? Type of game am I going to make next? And do we need to update the engine? I have not made a racing game in a long time. They're not particularly popular, but it's not all super saturated either. Yeah, let's do a racing game. So I imagine that engine needs to be updated. It's been a while. I mean, it's it's an assumption, but yeah. I mean, I, it was one thing, but that's more up to date than I expected it to be, honestly. All right, so race engine 1.11, let's go. We might as well polish this until that's done, right? Because Oh, never mind, it's done already. <laughs> that was fast. Man, that was fast. Um, Space Invasion 3, does that need an update? Or can it use an update? Yes, it is selling extremely well. We definitely want to throw an update at that, right? No question. No question about it. So, 
yeah, now we can release this. See no reason to hold it any, any longer. I'm expecting it to be 85% plus. It might even be Edward ID, right? But my next platformer, I think will be over 90 if this one isn't. Yeah, there we go. It already was, 92%. That, uh, that estimate doesn't take into consideration. I don't think the 3% bonus you get from the pre-release for the press, right? All right, so sequel, racing, chair racing. I'm pretty sure this is off the market. Yeah, it was two years ago, so definitely, definitely not on the market anymore. Change this to three. Uh, all cars, yeah, everything looks good. Did not mean to click there. Not the jump engine, race engine. Manufacturer exclusive. Away we go. Looks good. All right, so move this up, move this down, move these down. There, this should be pretty close to perfect sliders. I mean, it's already, the sliders are in good shape as it is. Should be really close now. Only 14 to 20, so no side quests, no random story events, no secrets. That makes sense. It's a racing game. And we got split screen multiplayer, which is the only feature that is super important for racing. Super important for a few things. A few of those that we don't have third and first person shooter yet, obviously. Anyway, but it is very important for those genres. All right, so they're looking for office workers. We'll leave them to that for a little bit longer. Actually, you know what? I want to blast through these game reports. I know there's only two, but I want to get them done. And then we'll work on improving this game. Search, they can stay in training. How are they doing in training? Now, one's over 70. So then we got highest 70, the lowest is 39. That's not bad for 1983, right? We're still relatively early in the game. So I'm, ooh, efficient and lucky. Yes, please. I'm actually going to put them in here. <laughs> So this room is now full. Efficient and unlucky pass. I like unlucky. Um, efficient and untalented pass. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do this. That is fine. All right, this console is ready. Uh, yeah, I see no reason to wait, right? So this will be tech level two. There isn't even a single tech level two engine feature yet, but they got to be coming soon, right? Figure. All right, so I'm going to go. I'm just going to go with a $5 profit. I'm going to go with a lower profit margin. That should help sales in theory, right? I'm hoping anyway. Now, you know, somebody mentioned going like negative profit. Oh, you won't let me go negative profit. That's weird. Um, and I might try that eventually, but I'll definitely play around with it. I know like for making profit, 25 like between 15 and 25 is the sweet spot anything over 25 you start losing sales too much um but because i'm making exclusives i want to i want to do this it's still profitable i'll still make money but i want to sell more so that i can sell more games right all right so five stars that's good eight out of ten depths kiss and as as we said, it will just simply take over the hype level from the other one. Perfect. It's tech level two. Another good person for that. All right. Um, let's blast through this commission work really quickly. And then we will do an update. Continue development. There's stuff we need to do there yet. And then we can do a quick update for Super Chair Bros. By playing Battle 2, got a gold record. Ninja Stars is off the market. So that was my old platformer. So that's actually good timing since my new platformer is out. Did not do that well. Only 6.2 in profit. 6.2 million. I mean, still good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but relatively, it was kind of mediocre, honestly. That's fine. It was only my second platformer. And I moved some of the sliders the wrong way for some reason. So <laughs> kind of is what it is there. Um, let's do a demo for this really quickly. Actually, let's blast through a couple demos here. Rock the Puzzle, which should be Rock the Puzzle 5, I think, but I accidentally 
it deleted the the number the sequel number like i deleted it and forgot because it was i wanted to replace the four with a five and i just didn't replace it anyway <laughs> uh what about being sequester there yeah let's get a demo for that get that up near 100 height all right and then we will do the pre-release special marketing for wheelchair racing and i have research to do eco sim eco sim all right and since our console team is not doing anything more they can go in training and the research team will come out of training and get eco sim which for anybody who's not familiar if this is your first time watching me play this game an eco sim is like a tycoon game think this game right this like mad games tycoon would be a game development eco sim right which i probably will make i'm pretty sure it's an achievement like called game within the game i think for making a game development eco sim i'm pretty sure i might be imagining that i hope i'm not but i think it's true <laughs> all right so do i want to polish this for another week i don't like untalented but i mean he's already at or she is already at over 50 skills so sure welcome aboard another <laughs> back to back on talented all right i took one i'm not taking two that's just i'm drawing the line um so let's do a free update for the chair fantasy is still selling really well too i mean it is rpg is the trend right that's a big factor in that all right, so Sass Victoria 3 is off the market. Rock the Puzzle got a gold record. We can put it with Jerry Racing 3 now. Self-distribution, of course. I'm hoping this is over 85%. Should be, if not over 90. My fourth racing game. Sliders are in a good spot. Yeah, there we go, 91. I'm in a good spot when you know, like if 91's like a bad game, you know you're doing well all right so eco sim is almost researched maybe sneak one more game in and then i'll do an eco sim so maybe just a sim sim i mean i do have one sim on the market loot flight sim but it's been out for 30 weeks it's only selling 10k but given the saturation levels and the popularity i think it's a no-brainer to make a simulation game here i'm pretty sure that that uh engine's up to date for sure simulation what do we want to simulate so we've done airplanes but that's why we want to do something different this time um what can we simulate i mean bowling i'm sure would work but that's also a sports game casino i feel like casino would be better as an eco sim which we're going to be doing soon chess chess simulation Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's try this. Chess Master. I don't know if I've ever made a chess game before. Maybe one run I did like a chess puzzle. It didn't work. If I remember correctly. But I might be imagining that. I do that sometimes. Imagine things. So, Sim. Manufacturer exclusive. Of course. Yeah, I'm surprised that you can have a full tech level two console and there's been no tech level two engine features yet. No idea why the languages were all disabled, but you can fix that. All right, and yeah, so let's take a look at the letters for Luch Flight Sim because we have no idea which way these sliders are supposed to go. They're very satisfied. That's good. That's a good start. Too short. There we go. He wants more length. Um, too casual, better level design, too hard. All right, so we got to move two of these down, but we don't know which two, right? Like one of them might need to go up, but I don't know. So I'm just going to guess that it's these two. Like, I know this is wrong, but I don't know which way it's supposed to go. So I'm just going to leave it. And then I forget where the, uh, 10, 40, 20, 10, 40, 20, 30. Okay, 10, 
40, 20, 30. Now, because we do not have the mocap studio yet, I'm gonna move up these all down one notch, move this one up the same amount so we can get some points, right? Because we're gonna get lots of sound points because we have a sound studio. Same with graphics, same with gameplay. Until we get the mocap, it's hard to get those points. And mocap doesn't come out for another 10 years, 10 and a half years. It's November of 93, I believe, off the top of my head. You know you played too much Mega Games Tycoon 2 when you start remembering when stuff gets released. <laughs> right? Possibly. I possibly played a little too much. It's such a good game. And people seem to enjoy me watching me play it, so... Here we are, yet again. All right, I'm gonna blast through this commission work right quick. It'll be fast, and then we'll get them to improve. There we go. Chess master. And let's do a early patch for wheelchair racing. Not quite day one patch, but close. All right, so another marketing. Eh, I mean, it's not out yet, so I guess it is a day one patch. All right, so we got lots of people in here, so let's take them off support briefly. No, oh, there's another person. Oh, fan merchandise sale problems. Oh, what's happening? I don't, why is it making me pick up all these desks? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> why did it? Okay, what did I misclick that it made me pick up those three desks? Um. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. And it won't let me... This, that's the wrong room. That's marketing. So this is marketing and support. There we go. That was weird. I don't know what happened. Anyway, so as I was saying, I'm going to do uh, let them do games convention for a bit. Get some new fans. I know it's only 2,000 fans, but yeah, it's fine. All right, and we're gonna need market this because it's a new IP, doesn't have built-in P value like our sequels do. So we will start off with the posters. Last through three poster campaigns, then a magazine campaign, then a radio campaign, and maybe a TV campaign, but probably not, honestly, because this is my second sim. It's probably not gonna be great. Yeah, 60 to 80 estimated review score. Not spending half a million on a TV spot for that. <laughs> All right, we got skill trees and day night cycle. So let's blast through these really fast and let's um, make a new engine here for EcoSim. Boop, 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 EcoSim, uh, we'll share Vision Pro. Call this the Tycoon engine. Perfect. Not for sale. I am not licensing my engines. They are all in-house only. Everybody else can suck it. <laughs> all right. So they're polishing. So the sound team is starting to fall behind. You know, 70 to 90. That's that's okay then. That's good. All right. So let's do pre-release special marketing. Let's quickly do a demo for wheelchair racing. And then we'll do the pre-release beta demo and a pre-release for the press. Got one hype from that demo. Definitely worth $30,000. <laughs> or not. Um, that's fine. All right, how are my consoles doing for hype? How far off 100 are they? 74, 76. Yeah, that's... What was the sale? Oh, this must have been when the Pro came out. There was a big jump in sales there, and then it kind of petered off. But it's interesting because the handheld had been out selling... The stationary, my handheld has 100% of the market share. There's no other handheld in the market right now. Almost, the chair reason bro is almost up to 10%. That's good. Like, this early in the game, especially. Like, late in the game, if you buy out all the subsidiaries and tell them to make games strictly for your consoles, it's easy to have good consoles or successful consoles, right? Early game, when you're not buying other people out, it's a little different. So, yeah, I mean, we have the third and fourth best consoles out there. And, yeah, there's a gap between us and the ones above, but there's a gap between us and the ones below as well. And that Nintendo is still not out yet. 
Like, didn't we get a pop-up that the Nintendo was announced, like, last episode? Maybe not. But I felt like the... I don't know. Felt like it was. Felt like it was. And I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. Many, many times. All right. So what's selling well here? Oh, almost everything is selling pretty well, honestly. Let's do... Fantasy Quester 4. I mean, every, all this stuff is selling well enough that, you know... An update would get its money back, which is ultimately the important thing. Oh, what rate quick. Do either of these new features apply? Oh, yeah, look at that. Day-night cycle is very important. Skill tree is semi-important. All right, so let's throw them in there. It's going to create a bunch of bugs, so let's get them off polishing and back to bug fixing. It's just long enough to squash these new bugs. Wait, wasn't this the 70 to 90? Oh, it's because of the bugs. So there we go, 70, 90. All right, and release? Release the Kraken? Sure. I mean, it's only my second sim or third sim, whatever it is, second sim. So, and chess might be all kinds of wrong. I'm not sure if chess works for a sim. I mean, I don't know what else a chess would be. It's not a sim, right? It's not sports. Maybe puzzle or skill? Anyway. Yeah. Over 80%. I'm happy. I'll take the 83%. I know it's crappy compared to my other games, but I'm fine with it. And hopefully you are too. And hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, in the links down below, in the description down below, sorry, you will find a link to my Discord. You will find a link to my Patreon. Lots of fine folks talking about games in my Discord. And I greatly appreciate any and all support from my patrons. I couldn't do it without them. So shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.